Hello guys and welcome to episode 2 of Vocabulary and Ideas for the Environment and Climate Change. Something you will talk about is maybe alternative sources of energy. An informal way that we write energia is N-R-G. If you look at these letters, it sounds like energy. Be careful with the word alternative. This is written al, but it's pronounced all. Also, always, almost. Be careful with the O here in the middle. Almost, although. This sound here, although, is quite difficult to explain, but it's like a D and a Z, although. And then you have alternative, not alternative. It's alternative. But, of course, as always in English, there are exceptions. Almonds, altitude, along. You just simply have to learn these by heart. This is not public, it's public. So you will probably want to speak about public transport. There are a few different ways that we speak about public transport. For example, we say a form of transport or many forms of transport. We never put an S for transport. Transport is uncountable. An alternative would be a way of traveling or ways of traveling. We wouldn't say ways of transport, we wouldn't say forms of traveling. And also a means of transport. So you can have a means of transport or many different means of transport. You can see that the S is always there. It doesn't matter if it's singular or if it's plural. And again, transport never has an S. Another thing you might want to talk about is banning or prohibiting or forbidding. All of these are different ways of saying prohibir. Maybe an example could be the government should prohibit the use of plastic bags. So we could equally say the government should ban the use uh, or the government should ban us from using plastic bags. And if you're going to use the verb avoid, make sure you use it correctly. So an example here would be we should avoid and then we continue with ing using plastic bags. So there are some differences between prevent and avoid. I'm just going to scroll through this slowly here and you can read this at your leisure. Cycling to work, for example. Uh, the pronunciation is to cycle, cycle. People are cyclists and the activity is cycling or the present participle, I'm cycling to work today. And there are many different ways that you can talk about this. You can say, I like to cycle, I go cycling every day, or I go cycling by bike, to go for a bike ride, or to ride a bike, to ride your bike, or to travel by bike. Stick to those combinations. Don't change these combinations. A similar sounding word is to recycle, recycle. On that topic, you might also want to talk about second-hand products. One of the most important words to pronounce correctly in English, everybody mispronounces these words, products, company. It's not company, it's company. Parents, not parents, parents. And one of the words that makes everybody flip out, flipar, is this word. It's not London, it's London, London. Anyway, returning to the environment. Ropa, secondhand clothes. Clothes. You can pronounce it with a seta or you can pronounce it with a V. Clothes. How do you pronounce this letter? It's not R, it's R. R. It's exactly the same as R. So you could talk about the three R's. Reduce, reuse and recycle. Another thing to talk about is your carbon footprint. And this is pronounced CO2. CO2. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Carbon neutral products. Neutral is the pronunciation. So carbon, carbon neutral products are generally more expensive than normal products. You could talk about the emission of toxic fumes. The verb is to emit, and the noun is emission, the emission of toxic fumes. Or gases as well. 
This is not pronounced gases, it's gases. Ah, a difficult word to pronounce. Renewable, renewable. Renewable energies, examples of those could be wind energy or turbine energy, solar energy, wave energy, also geothermal. Less ecological forms of energy would be coal, petrol is also a key word to know. We do not say gas oil and also diesel is another form of fuel. Fuel is a good word to pronounce it properly. Fuel. Fuel. That's the end of part two. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for part three.